Well, welcome everyone. We're going to do a modification to the little truck crane today. And I want to stretch this cable tight. And I'll spin this thing around and show you what we have going on here. Now it's manufactured this way. And this little quarter inch of steel blocks this cable from coming out straight if we want to winch something up to it. So what I'm going to do is take and cut that out of there. That way the cable can swing freely off the end of the pulley here. So we're going to get that cut out and then we're going to go down and stretch this cable tight. Let me spin it around and I'll show you what we have going on. So every time I unspool it, it's getting worse. So I want to get this thing out and actually stretch this cable. And we're going to do that by hooking up to a tree. We're going to see if this little winch will pull the Kawasaki and the trailer backwards. So it is rated at 2,000 pounds, and that's pretty close to where we're setting. Welcome to all of you who are new to the channel, and thanks for subscribing. And to all of you who already continue to watch the videos for us. We really appreciate it, and we really hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Let's get started. We're going to get this thing fixed. Again, this has been extremely useful on the back of this trailer. And uh, I don't mind doing a little modification to it to make it a little better yet. Thanks for watching. Now I also added me some bushings inside here with some flat washers to keep this pulley from moving back and forth. That was not included with the crane when we purchased it, so that is something that I've added in there. We don't have any rough edges there. Yeah, see, that's going to allow us to get up and out of that cradle there and have this cable actually be able to move around. It should be an improvement for us. Let's take this thing down here and see how well it's going to actually pull the mule and this trailer together. I'm going to have to pull forward a little bit.
that thing is definitely twisted up. That does make it. And they come that way from the factory. Uh, any of these new cables that you put on these winches, truly you should stress them out and uh, get, get them wound on your spool as tight as you can. And you may have to do this two or three times in order to actually get the cable to stay in a single direction, to stay wound the way it should stay. Let me pull forward a little bit and we'll get the strap out and get this thing hooked up. being wound up tight on the spool how this thing is starting to bend itself and if you continue to wind them up like that you can damage the cable that should hold it I'd say the mule and the trailer is probably a little over 2,000 pounds here Gotta start it here. This is straight as I can. Put a little bit of height on that thing. Use that part pulley as well. And it's gonna move it. Oh, we have to set the brake. <laughs> and now we got a little bit of emergency brake applied to the mule to hold this thing back. We went it pretty easy. There we go. Moving this pretty easy actually. And actually, I think it could use a little more pressure against it. So the next time I do this, I'll make sure the mule is pointing down the hill. Give this thing a little more restriction to pull against. You guys hang on now. like to see those loops just a little more consistent across through there but again we'll have to do this two or three times to actually get the cable on here as tightly as it should be okay Let's see what happens when we let a little bit of it off bit of slack here that didn't try to unspool that's a good thing still got a little on it too though now how's it look well definitely looks better than what we started
right. Well, that was simple enough to try. That little winch actually has some decent torque to it because it was able to drag this thing backwards in no trouble. Uh, I would assume if we get it hooked up to a log 20 or 30 feet out away from the trailer, we should be able to drag it right up to it. And keeping the cable stressed tight like that will help the life of the cable. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Thanks to all of you for watching. Uh, it really is fun to make videos for you, and I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. We'll keep doing stuff like this. We've got some big projects coming up for this trailer and this train. Thanks for watching.